Hey, we go back again with another video. Yes, Friday, September the 1st, 11 p.m. That is when the transfer window closes and Sunderland have yet to finalise the, the, the striker of Nazarai Rusin and also there's rumours of a new lad being flown in by KLD. But first, we'll go to James Hunter of The Chronicle. Sunderland striker... Target confirms he is waiting to travel to Wearside to finalise a move. Now we've spoke about Nazari Rusin this week about how you know the, the the manager said he's been sold. The manager said he's on his way to Sunderland, but has he really? Now here we go with this. Ukrainian striker Nazari Rusin is preparing to travel to Sunderland for a medical and complete his move. That's good. Striker Nazarai Rusin has confirmed he is in the process of making a move to Sunderland, although the final details are yet to be completed. Suggested that Zora Lahansk frontman has signed a contract with the Black Cats and he is waiting for a permit to, to order to travel to Wayside for the medical. However, the 24-year-old said in an interview with Sport.ua that he has not yet signed the contract, but said he is waiting for paperwork to come through so that he can come to Sunderland to undergo a medical and complete the deal. He confirmed that he has had he's been offered a that he's been offered he has been offered a four year contract with an option of a further year. So he's confirmed that. Rusin has been rated in the 2.5 million bracket, but he did not give details of the fee in the interview. And he will, and, and Sunderland will pay Ukrainian side Zahora, you know, reports up to that. He could, he how could, how could I do this when I didn't even pass the physical at this club? Therefore, I continue to be a Zora player. So he didn't pass the physical at the club, but he's undergoing a medical at Sunderland, hopefully in the next day or so. Of the move itself, he said, yes, as my agent, Vladimir Slabi, said, there is an agreement that I will legalise business relations with Sunderland for a period of four years with an extension of another. This option suits me. Rusin says he will submit documents today to obtain a visa to work in Britain. He said on August the 29th, I have to submit the necessary documents for obtaining an English visa. I hope that soon all the formalities will be completed and it'll be possible to travel to England. Rusin has watched Sunderland games from afar and says he likes the team's style of play. I have recently subscribed to the Sunderland Club account on Instagram. I have the opportunity to watch the matches of the team and I like their style of play. Now the main thing is to get rid of this injury as soon as possible and get ready for my new challenge in my footballing career. The former under-21 international Ukrainian Russian scored 13 goals in 30 games Zahora last season and is continuing to contribute to three assists. He has scored one goal in two games so far this season. So there we have it. Rusin is close to coming to Sunderland for the medical and to sign it. So yes, I'm hoping this happens very soon because it's taken a long time to get through. Now we're also interested in another player. Now this player is a young lad from France and first bit of information was this here. I'll put this somewhere up on here, you can see it. From someone called Connor. Kraken rumour on the forums, which seems to be right. Flight at Manifest has been shared about of KLD's private jet coming in this morning with a player and his agent on board. Looking like we're getting a new attacking midfielder. <laughs> Watch this space. And something else is on there. This one as well. Oh, we do have a transfer rumour. Adeli Alushi linked this morning he's never played much football during the 22-23 campaign but below shows his data and he's got he's got good data he nearly signed for arsenal from psg in 2020 here's a picture of him right now is he sunderland bound and then also the rumor this morning from someone obviously called maca rumor on rtg ali alushi young french lad currently with laurent Flew into Teesside Airport today with KLD. Make of that what you will. 21 years of age, main position, attacker midfielder, other position, central midfielder, left midfielder. And now we'll go into his stats of this young lad. 
Adeli Alushi. French, he's French, who plays the attacking midfield. I know he was born in La Blanc in France. He's 21 years of age. He's 5 foot 11 inches tall. He's a midfielder. You know, he, he, he started off his youngster career at Paris Saint-Germain, Paris Saint-Germain, 2014 to 2020. He played one game for PSG. Then he went to Saint Etienne, 2020 to 2022, where he played 71 games and two goals. Now, that's a good amount of games in a high level of football in France. Then he went to Lorient, played one game for Lorient B, and now 11 games for Lorient. So he's got a lot of... A lot a lot of first team football for a young lad who's come through the ranks and only 21 years of age. Now France under 16, 10 games. France under 18, 17, 18 games. France under 18, 12 games. And France under 28 games. So there we have it. Now at, at PSG, an academy graduate of PSG, Alushi, made his debut 30th of August 2019 in a 2-0 win over Mets. He started the match and played 65 minutes. He scored his first goal in 2020 in a 6-0 win in Coupe de la France. You know, in, 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 in one of those cup matches. He made this made him the second youngest player, the second youngest player ever to score a goal for PSG in official competitions. That's absolutely fantastic. There we go. Then he went to St Etienne on the 2020, 20th of July. Signed for League One club St Etienne. He made his debut for the club in a 2-0 win against Lorient on the 30th of August. And he scored his first goal against Nantes in a 2-2 draw. Then he moved to Lorient in 2020 and he's on, on a four-year contract. Style of play. Attacking midfielder, gifted with above average technical skills. He excels in chance of creating and dribbling. And then we've got all sorts of statistics and this, that and the other. <clears throat> but there we have it. Two players that could be inbound before this transfer window. Transfer window closes. But with three days to go, is anybody out there actually still worrying about this? The players aren't in. Players haven't signed. We've got three days. Three days in the transfer window is a long, long time. We've got the loanee market as well. Could we get a Premier League loanee player in as well? So we've got plenty of bodies who could come through the door. We just need, for me, I'd say three. We definitely need at least three more players in. And, and I think with this young lad coming in. So with this young lad coming in, does that mean with the likes of Pritchard is on his way out before the deadline window stops, closes? I want to see Pritchard stay. I'd love to see Danny Bart stay longer as well. Now, would Danny Bart get in the side if we had a striker in the team? Someone like Danny Bart for me would be fantastic. We do need a depth. We do need depth because injuries. Ballard's been injured a few times in the past. Danny Bart's been injured a few times in the past. Serkin is renowned to get injuries. So we've got to be careful in defence. We need to make sure we're strong in defence and keeping the likes of Bart, for me, is it, imperative. So there we go. That is today's fresh news, fresh from the block of transfer rumours deadline, almost deadline day, new speculation. Someone says, apparently we made an 8 million loss last season. Now, is that true? Is that correct? I, I don't look at the financial figures. Someone let me know in the comments down below. So we won't be spending a great deal, but we will be getting bodies in before the transfer deadline window closes. A few players, that is the, they are the words, a few players coming in before the deadline window closes. But does that mean we have to let a few go out as well? We'll be doing a video every day this week because it is close to the deadline day, you know, the, 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 the closing of the window. So I just want to keep the videos going a little bit longer. Then after the window closes, no more speculation and rumours. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the quick video to let you know what's going on with Rushin and this new lad from France, attacking midfielder Ali Alouche. Probably butchered his name completely. I do apologise if I did. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. We'll see you tomorrow for the match preview against Southampton, where we will be back at Wincy's Bar and Grill on Saturday. Happy days. We'll see you later. Thank you for watching.